testing, testing, testing. What's up, my friends, and welcome back to the Happy Power Channel. Today's date is 8 17, 2021, and today we have for you guys our Dennis Fresh. Now, last night's update was actually pretty special. I mean, we got the brand new Imposter LTM, which is absolutely crazy, and actually grants you guys a crap ton of XP. According to Hypeback, you can get about 100,000 XP in 30 minutes. So this is the best opportunity to level up as fast as possible to end off season seven. So that is absolutely crazy. Honestly, did not get a chance to play it very much. So let me know in the comments below, is it worth playing? And do you guys absolutely love it? Now, there's actually a lot of secrets within inside this LTM, such as the Zapatron being spotted and a few other things such as the cube and of course, storyline based stuff. So stay tuned for the next upcoming video where we're going over everything new and of course, secret things in the brand new LTM. In other news, here's all the brand new cosmetics in today's brand new update. And as you guys can definitely tell, honestly, we did not get that many cosmetics. Even though this is actually a massive update, the majority of the update was to add event files, but also to add that massive brand new imposters LTM, which took up a crap ton of space. So overall, I think the cosmetics are actually pretty cool looking, especially this one in the background video, which of course has the ability to unlock free V-Bucks. So those are all, so those are also extremely special. Absolutely love those. And to top things off, we also have for you guys some brand new encrypted sets. So Shina said five encrypted sets in this update. Uh, Bent Act, Flock Insure, Sketchy, Breach Dog, Sloppy Mortar. And he also said there are currently two encrypted skins that will have some sort of reactive features. Right now, we cannot tell what these skins are. So as far as the cosmetic side goes, that's really all we got in today's update. Not much, but overall, very cool looking skins. We got Wonder Woman, of course, the first look at that, uh, and our brand new bundle. We got a brand new skin that features V-Bucks. And of course, we also got some brand new skins that are actually revolving around uh, Bizzle and Safer Rooney and stuff like that. So, so overall, pretty cool stuff right there. But yeah, very, very small update as far as cosmetics. Fortnite Battle Royale V17.40 update, Wild Week returns with Sneak Week. Sent to the Hot Saucers mailing list. After the aliens debuted their prop of fires last week, the IO may be fighting stealth with stealth. They are removing a number of the island's weapons and replacing them with suppressed versions. And to make things more stealthy, the aliens are actually increasing prop of fire production. See the attached file on what we can expect to be a very unusual week, a Wild Week if you will. By Mary. So yes, guys, Wild Weeks are now back, and the first one appears to be, of course, Silence Weapons. The invasion is reaching its climatic conclusion as new tactics are being deployed weekly to turn, to turn the tide. Starting Thursday of this week, every Epic Plus Pistol, Epic Plus Assault Rifle, and all Bolt Action Sniper Rifles will be replaced with their stealthy variants, suppressed pistols, suppressed assault rifles, and suppressed sniper rifles. To avoid being seen as well as heard, the aliens are countering this by developing more prop fires across the island. And to keep things up with the trend, more vendors are deploying prop disguises services. Combine the sneakiness of prop disguise with the silent precision of a suppressed sniper rifle, and the enemy won't know what hit them. Sneak Week also comes with a legendary quest chain related to the week's theme, so jump in and earn extra XP. Alright, so that's actually a very cool thing. Now, we also got finally the Coral Castle Abduction. After a crater's been left in the place of Slurpee Swamp, the mothership has moved on to its next victim, Coral Castle. As with Slurpee Swamp during its abduction, head to Coral Castle to battle the mothership's low-gravity tractor beam, hopping from one uprooted part of the point of interest to another. The aliens calculated that Coral Castle will take the same amount of time to abduct as Slurpee Swamp. So keep coming back during this week to see how things have changed. Alright, so overall a very cool update. And speaking of map changes, here's every brand new map change in today's 17.40 update. Coral Castle has now started being abducted by the mothership. Various buildings and chunks are now being torn out of the ground, and the whole zone within the beam is anti-gravity. IO bases are set up everywhere. The chair is even smaller, now equipped with a tiny teddy bear and a tiny telescope. So no idea how small this will get, but it's extremely tiny. The henchmen buddies are now at Coral Castle investigating the abduction and enjoying their time at the beach, now dancing together with Hey Now at the campfire. And last but not least, Zig and Choppy have now moved from Pleasant Park to Craigie Cliff's Broken House, planting more alien parasites around the map. And that's all we have for you guys as far as map changes. A new material was added to, for a black battle bus. Could the IO make a custom black version of the bus to combat the mothership? We will probably see towards the end of this season. So yes guys, a black battle bus is now coming soon, which is likely for also this in the background video. So a big find of today's video. A new U map has been added called Corny Complex Bomb, along with a mesh called the device. I was preparing to launch something at the mothership. 
this change should be somewhere inside the game right now. So yes, guys, the IO is now building a massive bomb to combat the mothership abducting points of interest, and I guess to pretty much just kill it, basically. So crazy stuff overall. We'll be seeing some sort of massive storyline event for the end of the season. A file was re-added called Cube Digital Reveal. We may see the cube reappear just like it did in Season 5 later this season. So as we all know by now, the cube is most death returning, and he will return in the exact same fashion as he previously returned. More info about the upcoming flying wildlife animals. They will come in two sizes, big and small. Big ones drop purple scar or purple SMG plus 1 to 3 meat. Small ones only drop 1 to 3 meat. Alright, so they actually dropped scars. That's very unexpected, but, all, but overall, very cool stuff right there. These are the Sloan voice lines I was talking about earlier. She's planning to take down the mothership, which will most likely be a part of the final event. She said even more things, but the normal video was way too long for Twitter. You can find them here. And of course, I will link the full video down below, but here's a clip he posted over on Twitter. I'm tired of waiting for these aliens to make the first move. It's our turn to go on the offensive. I've got a plan, but I need to be absolutely certain our communication network is airtight. Beyond airtight, even. When this message ends, I'm cutting hardline communication to the base. That'll be your cue to deploy those radio jammers. It's time to go dark. If you're hearing this recorded message, that means we're getting close to executing our plan. If everything works like I think it will, that mothership's days of ominous hovering are numbered. Unfortunately, the area where it's coming down isn't as unpopulated as I'd like. I need you to warn the people there ahead of time and get them to leave. Can't risk any of them doing something to interfere with the plan. Alright, so it's no surprise that yes, they are definitely working on destroying the mothership at some point by the end of the season. So overall, a very crazy event is now ahead of us. Here are the Refer a Friend rewards for this actual season, so cool stuff right there. Overall, very basic, but hey, who does not like free rewards? The QWERTY Axe pickaxe has an event tag attached to it, which means it'll likely be a reward for an event. So far, it's not known for which event, but it might be part of the Back to School event. So yes guys, it's very likely this pickaxe will be free in the Back to School 2021 event happening relatively soon. A feature called Hermes was added to the files today. It will be used for Valkyrie Sass Creative Mode 2.0. It's used to download projects, new name for islands, of other players. Some strings add a new Hermes project. Download and add a project. Enter project ID slash link code. Alright, so Fortnite mods are still being worked on and we could be seeing this, well, very, very soon. And honestly, guys, that's all I have for you guys for this particular video. There's a lot of miscellaneous stuff that I did not get to in today's video, so make sure you guys stay tuned for the next upcoming video, where we'll be going over the rest of the Fortnite leaks in the 17.40 update. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next upcoming video. Stay happy, my friends.